fact of waiting for you in your office. Do you have any idea why? Uh oh. No. I will shred files. I will lie. I will do anything. Huh? Okay, here's the plan. I'll go talk to the cop. You go back to your desk and pretend nothing's wrong. Do some work, okay? <laughs> but don't pretend. Actually, do work. <laughs> hey, Jim, what brings you down here? You know this guy? <clears throat> the kids go to the same school. She's so dramatic. Your career day or what? You with your gun and taser and me showing the kids how to do inventory? Reggie Grant, he beat up some guy in a bar last night. Oh. Man, no way, dude. I ride to work with Reggie every day. That's not good. I don't want to make a big thing out of this. Could you just get Reggie to come into your office? Yeah, sure. Hey, what happened to Reggie? He got in a fight at a bar. Jimmy's got a warrant for his arrest. No, no, not Reggie. <laughs> He's got the best car in the carpool. Not Reggie. He's got different temperatures on the right and the left side. That's very important to me. I'm going through the change. <laughs> <laughs> your problem? No, I'm just setting up the new vacation schedule. Oh, good. I think I got three weeks coming. Yeah, I think it's uh, three to five. Uh, three to five. <laughs> it's a cop, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Why don't we just get this over with? You know, it's not cool to ask if anyone here is a felon, but just out of curiosity, how many of you can vote in a national election? <laughs> 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 Here's my list of people I don't want in the carpool. Jimmy Fatass, Joe <laughs> Pitstains, Booker, <laughs> Johnny, and Lily. Jimmy Fatass. Like oh, she never has a nice word to say about anybody. Girl, look who's talking. In the carpool, Mom? He had his chance. He's such a backseat driver. Slow down, please slow down. Stop, please stop. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Mom, you're playing chicken with a train. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should find somebody with a good car, somebody who can tell a story. That wouldn't be so bad either. I'm sick of being Miss Personality. Miss Personality. Well, since when do you walk to school by yourself? I'm 10, Dad. All my friends are walking to school by themselves. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I don't think you're ready yet. <laughs> you still believe in Santa Claus? Aww. Yeah. George. <laughs> Santa Claus would think that you're too young to watch. <laughs> Did you talk to them? Yeah, we had lunch on Thursday. <laughs> Your mom will drive you. Go get a jacket. We let Carmen walk by herself when she was ten. That was different. We used to live right across the street from the school. She was never out of my sight. <laughs> and let's be honest, Angie. I mean, Carmen was our first kid. She was like the canary in the coal mine. <laughs> right, why don't we just talk about this after you see the play? You might change your mind. Oh, man, I hope it's better than that multi I think I used to have that cup. Abraham, Jesus, Muhammad, and Buddha were all celebrating Kwanzaa. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't teach me any of this stuff. All you told me was if a stranger comes up to you, speak Spanish. That didn't make me safe. It made me exotic. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? I'm going to do this through the whole play. Max is nervous enough about remembering his lines. Hey, I have a question. Yes. That sign outside, no smoking? Was that just for the kids or for everybody? <laughs> oh, my God, Benny. For everyone. It, it, how long is the play? <laughs> just under 20 minutes. I'll catch it on Broadway. I'll catch it on Broadway. <laughs> okay. She's so foul. Again. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey kids, isn't it a little late for you to be playing in the park all alone? Our parents are picking us up in a half an hour. Wrong. Rewind. <laughs> Our parents are going to be here any second. Right. Press play. This is ridiculous. What is they going to learn from this, Angie? How to operate a VCR? How to operate a VCR? <laughs> Can you help me look for my frisbee over by those trees? Oh my god, he keeps saying hi. If you find it, I'll give you each a dollar. <laughs> they rehearsed. Not strangers, you're not safe. Oh, here comes a nine-year-old kid with a badge. Wow, that's gonna help. <laughs> hey. George. That's my kid. <laughs> Sorry, I don't talk to strangers. <laughs> He's so dumb. 
and a half too long. <laughs> it was only 20 minutes. The part of the play was when you walked up to the teacher afterwards and demanded your tax dollars back. <laughs> Come on, Ed, <laughs> She that thought that was funny. Max? The only thing he's ready for is a tiny stranger with a fake mustache who can't stop looking at the audience. <laughs> he's not walking to school by himself. George, it's only four blocks. He's totally sheltered. At least I grew up in a rough neighborhood surrounded by criminals. I was lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and they knew him. Can a day go by when you don't say that? <laughs> you have already ruined your kids by coddling them. He was crossing the street by himself when he was two. He had to. Food. <laughs> and he underestimating Max. What are you guys talking about? You. What if it was raining and a stranger drove up and offered to give you a ride home? I wouldn't go. Good. Okay, now Max. What if someone came up to you and said, "Your mom told me to give you a ride home." I still want to go. Hmm. He knows. <laughs> now, what if the guy said your mom and dad were in a very bad accident, losing blood fast, and if you didn't come right away, you'd never see your parents alive again? Mom? Too late. Your mom's dead. Okay, you you're traumatizing him. That's enough. <laughs> that's okay, honey. That's not gonna happen. Why don't you go to bed, and I'll be up in a minute, okay? I used to read the newspaper to you right before bed. Remember the Zodiac Killer? Oh, my so, God. He's not coming here, is he, Mommy? I look at the paper and tell you, it doesn't say. <laughs> it doesn't say. <laughs> yeah, I remember. No green eggs and ham, no cat in the hat, just nut kills 12. Night, night. <laughs> nut kills 12. Night, night. You can laugh, but it worked. But don't traumatize the kid. Who's there? Shh. We need your VCR. What are you doing? Show Max a movie, and I don't want your mom to know. Well, I want a new sweater. I'm sure we can reach some sort of agreement. Girl, go back to bed. You don't tell mom, and I'll do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's more important that you learn that not everyone. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What's the movie? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. To the educational part. <laughs> huh? <laughs> What's going on out there? <laughs> <laughs> it's so Chainsaw Massacre? Are you insane? <laughs> hey, it's a classic. Angie, this is how kids learn. They watch scary stuff. They get nightmares. They learn to be careful. Max doesn't need to watch the movies. To I mean, horror movies do teach you. Monday morning. I'll take this. Let's see what happens when leprechauns go bad. <laughs> Leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell she wants to laugh. You know, Danny boy, if you join the carpool, you have to come to work every day. Not on the days that I drive. <laughs> Ernie. Uh, I want a chance to get back in the carpool. State your name. You know my name. Ernie. State your name. Ernesto. Come on. Ernesto Cardenas. This dope will do anything. Skip around like a pony and slap your own ass. <laughs> Asking everybody what kind of car they drive to see how they'll fit in the group. Oh, well, um, I drive a Subaru Brat, and once in a blue moon, fire comes out of the vents. What? Next. Uh, knock knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. <laughs> Would you say orange and get out of here already? <laughs> hey, hey guys, I'm sure I can't wait any longer. I gotta pick up my new van. Uh, if it matters, it's got a VCR. Little TVs and the headrests. Color? Oh, yeah. Hey, Ernie. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not you, brother. <laughs> Pick up George first, then come by my house. Honk a few times, get out of your car, skip around, and slap yourself on the ass. <laughs> what? I just want to see somebody do it. <laughs> <laughs> then you do it. <laughs> I know you followed me to school in your car. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. We had a gold Chevy Citation with three hubcaps. Damn. George, that was 90% of our neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> what number do you call if you're in trouble? 911. Good boy. Okay, George. I remember those days. Wait, it was so you scary. You better watch you go. I can't wait. I'm going to be late. Okay, then I need something out of your backpack. Hey. George. 
An eraser in the shape of an army man. Got it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> He's so annoying. Oh. You know they got a chip you can put in between dogs' shoulder blades nowadays, so you always know where they are. So if anything happens to this kid, you might want to get a dog. What? Just until I'm sure he can handle himself. <coughs> How are you gonna know unless something happens? Dude, could you be less supportive? I know. <laughs> I was watching this news show and they had these kids in a playground. This undercover reporter came Okay, don't. They wanted to come and play with his puppy. Don't traumatize him. Every single kid went with him. Every kid? Well, almost every kid. The rest of the kids came when the guy promised to take him to go see Santa Claus. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a creep. Pull up to Max. Like, tell me lost your puppy. Hey, you see my puppy around here anywhere? <laughs> I lost him. I, I don't know this neighborhood too good. Mm -mm. I haven't seen him. You've never done this before, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Really? Tell him you got an Xbox in here. Where's the Xbox? I want to play. <laughs> TV, be quiet, and I'll give you all the change that's in my pocket. Oh my God. Xbox in here. You want to? You want to come in and play with it? This is so bad. You're not safe. You're not safe. Hey, uh, George, your kid's running away. Oh man, good boy. Way to go, Max. <laughs> George, is that you? Oh, hey, Jim. I was worried about Max walking to school all by himself, so I thought maybe I'd test him to see if he'd get in a stranger's van, but Timmy got in instead. <laughs> Timmy, is that true? He said if I keep my mouth shut, I can have what's in his pocket. George, I want out of the carpool. I want out of the carpool. Thank you out of the carpool the minute you tricked Timmy into this van. <laughs> he threw it Why would you give it to another kid? I concerned. Yoshi stole it. And she's such a sweet little guy. I get it. I get it. It's scary. It's scary. It's happening so fast. I mean, now he's walking himself to school. Next thing he'll be in college. Oh, I remember this. Ew. <laughs> what you doing there, Max? It's my new invention. Cereal on a stick. Cereal on a stick. Nasty. Oh, come here, buddy. You're gonna work in the factory with your dad, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that joke back then. We took a vote. Yeah? And you lost. Oh, and you lost. So we took another vote. Yeah? And you lost again. <laughs> you lost again. But we took another vote. Yeah. And you lost again. And you lost again. Three times. George, how many more times are you going to put me through this? Till it's not fun anymore. <laughs> okay. So we took another vote. Yeah. <laughs> He's so tired of it.